the Dunstan. I got this one. I went to North Carolina one time to visit um, A.J. Bullard. He was a big plant geek like I am, and uh, he had these growing on his property. When I turned in the driveway, this the first thing I spotted. And they're beautiful trees with the, with, when the fruit's yellow and hanging on them. I have people ask me all the time here, what kind of tree is that? But this is your, oh, look at the juice in that one. Wow. Dunstan Citramello. All right, so this one is the Dunstan Citramello. And in my opinion, this here is probably the best tasting uh, Citramello. Even a little bit better tasting than this than the Sacaton. And uh, the Swingle's got a, a totally different thing going on. Swingle's got more of like a lemon, lemon flavor going on with it. Um, but the Dunstan is 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 a really cool one i got mine from um um stan mckenzie and he got his um from a dr bullard and out of north carolina long 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 time ago and um dr bullard just like stan was just a caretaker you know i don't think he was the one that developed it if i remember him saying that he he'd gotten the seeds from somebody named dunston and um but, but this one is very similar to the Sacaton Citramello, except for the fact that it's not as big. And the flavor's a little bit more sweeter, um, which is kind of nice. I, um, when you do your research on this also, too, if you, if you look up into the, you know, the Dunstan, um, I'm not the only one that says this. Other people uh, also say that this one here is, is, uh, is better. And it, it gets... Well, yeah. I'm going to be fair. They're going to say it gets close to edibility. Um, but I like it sour, guys. We all like it sour. You know, if you're watching this, you're you're one of those people. You're the hybrid type people. You like the trifle. If it's got three leaves or had three leaves, you know, that's your thing. Um, but they say it approaches edibility. But if you ask me for a hybrid trifoliate, I think I think the flavor's exceptional. It's it's superior to the Pond Cyrus trifoliate, the regular um, trifoliate, which I'm not knocking. You know, I've, I've eaten my share of those in the past. And uh, when I lived in Tennessee, there was a bunch of wild trees that I had found and I'd made lemonade out of them. And uh, I would grow the seeds and I had the trees all over my yard. And they're great rootstock. I still have a bunch of them now. Um, and I've even got some seeds and stuff like that and some little seedlings of them. So um, this is superior in flavor to a wild trifoliate is it better in flavor than a regular grapefruit if you ask me yes i do not care for the flavor of store-bought grapefruit or regular grapefruit that's too bitter um it's got like that like uh i just can't do it and I, it i know some of you guys absolutely love it i'm not also knocking those but there's something about the citramellos um especially the sacaton and the dunstan that have a very 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 good flavor and a good dark rich juice now the flesh of these is almost orange compared to a, a grapefruit you know which is a little bit lighter colored um and i think it, it gets that from you know the the, the pont cyrus trifoliate and i'll show you what i mean about it having a little bit of an orange orange flesh to it very very good and juicy and these are I'm pretty sure the, the, the original ones of these are grown in Raleigh, guys. Raleigh, North Carolina. And um, um, some of the research I've, I've found about it, that it survived a, a winter storm, the winter storm of the night in the 1980s, and, and still survived. And um, this, is, this is one of the tough citrus. They, grow, they use them for rootstock. Um, but definitely an OG. But, yeah, look at the color of this, guys. Wow. I'm just gonna take a moment, be quiet, and let you enjoy that. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just blown away by it. I absolutely love citramellos, and I've got a few of them here in the yard. I'll, I'll show you a quick clip of those. Actually, as a matter of fact, I've, I've got some young ones. But look at the color of this flesh. Very, 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 very good. And uh, oh, little gnat landed on there. But. And what I've noticed is if you let them sit for a little bit longer, they actually get sweeter. Um, they, they lose a little bit of the trifoliate and the bitterness, and they actually get sweeter. 
and like right now it almost looks like an orange with the color of the rind and let me cut a little piece of this baby off i'm i love them i've made so much juice with these i like little glasses of uh citramello juice Hmm. Yeah, I'll say it again. They have, if you cross a grapefruit with an orange, that's what they taste like. That's what they taste like. If you crossed a grapefruit with an orange, it would be like this, you know. And, wow. Now, these ones are easy to get your hands on. Um, I know Stan sells these. And um, I know that he's got um, a lot of these grafted specifically. He has seedlings um, that he that he sells on occasion, uh, but he's got a lot ready for the spring, where he's going to be selling seedlings of uh, Sacaton Citramello, the Citramon, and also the Dunstan. And I think he even has some ten degree tangerine um, grafted trees right now for sale. But yeah, check that out. Try to get it up close with the skin in there. bumpy skin they're they're a little bit more brighter yellow uh, but I've had these guys sitting here for for a few weeks um, kind of wanting to let them kind of get a little bit sweeter and stuff like that wanting to get a real darker darker juice darker color and these grow from seed very easy um, they they produce true from seed and um, that's what Stan said and you know a lot of his grow true from seed I did get a couple weird looking hybrids from him um, this past summer, but I gotta eat some more of this, guys. This is just too much, the juice in this. Yeah, look at that. Look at the color. And the jury. Let's see. Deliberate. <laughs> That's the best one. The best one. Dunstan. It's more grapefruity. And there's less bitterness. Okay. You should try that one, Stan. You're gonna like that one. Get ready to try it. Yeah, that's that almost tastes identical to a grapefruit with, with not, not a lot of bitterness to it. Oh man. Still pretty unique flavor. <laughs> 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 If you're wanting to grow rare, cold, hardy citrus seeds at home, go on over and check out our website, toughcitrus.com. We usually offer a handful of rare, cold, hardy citrus seeds that you guys can grow yourself. And uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And thanks for watching, guys. We really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.